Brightside. And we're back with the Q&A portion of Brightside Live. Great set, guys. The Mushroom Cloud coming from Connecticut. What part of Connecticut was that again? New Haven. Uh, I was just in... I don't even remember what part of Connecticut. It took me two hours and 45 minutes to get there, and I was very sick. But it was a nice time. But guys, do you often play in Brooklyn? Do you, is this something you're used to coming and making these travels? Where was the last? We play in New York. Um, we were we just at we're at Mazfest. Cool. Um, and stock. Maz stock, stock, right? And uh, we've played. Where do we where did we play last? Arlene's Grocery. We were at. Cool. I love well, that venue. Earlier this year, uh, we played Drum. We played. We. Yeah. New York City mostly, but um, Brooklyn. Have we played Brooklyn? Yeah. I think the last time we did Brooklyn was uh, a Burning Man warehouse party. And the paper, years paper ago. box, too, that was a couple cool. years ago. Oh, yeah. We played the paper uh, box as well. Is the scene really different coming to New York City in general compared to what's going on in Connecticut? It's, I actually it's no so idea. much bigger. Yeah. And you got, like, the upstate New York, obviously, New York City. And, like, Connecticut is all kind of just, like... What city are you in? New Haven, Bridgeport, like Hartford, kind of, but it's so small. There. Everyone just travels. Yeah. Like they'll go to a show no so matter where it is. Do you guys know all the local acts? The guys that really play a lot. The guys and gals. Yeah, yeah, we're friends with pretty much everybody. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. We all try to support each other and just like you know promote each other's shows or go That's to each awesome. other's shows. That's awesome. That's what we love doing here. Yeah, we, lots of sit-ins, lots of collaborations. We built a big family by doing this show every week. We've kind of extended our family from New York City to Connecticut. We have a band from Italy once. Whoa. Ooh. So we got to go out and visit Italy and <laughs> crash their house sometime. That's sick. <laughs> How'd you guys hear about Bridside? So I think the last time we were down in New York City at Arlene's, we met with Dan uh, Purdom. Dan Pur Everyone knows Dan. <laughs> Mr. Dan Purdom. Dan, 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 Dan Ashley, we met them. The control and Dan. Shout out to Dan. Good man. Good man. So, yeah, we got to talk, and after our set, uh, we were opening for Learson Peak, and that was a great time. And, uh, yeah, we just got invited to do a Bridgeside. Uh, it took a couple of months to make it happen. We were going to do it a few months back, but it finally unfolded, and uh, we got down here, and it's an amazing just time. Just in time for the end of summer, beginning. That's right. It's a good time. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a good time. Um, I think we have questions in the control room. If uh, Dan, we we got the lovely Ashley, Dan's lady in the control room. Do we have questions? Can you point her yeah, towards the, the magical hello, red button? Can you hear me? I hear you, Dan. All right. Uh, so we've got a question from Steve Mink. He Steve says, Mink. <laughs> hello, Steve. We love you. What's the most interesting thing you've seen real late night at a festival? <laughs> <laughs> Dan Purdom. <laughs> Playing next to you, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve Mink gets very interesting More at electro, festivals Steve, right? late night as well. Um, that we at Madstock we did we played at 5 a.m. into headphones the silent disco set. Uh, playing right next to Lord Electro, mm -hmm. so everyone's switching back and forth. So, like that so was where people wear the headphones and like yep. jam out. Yeah. I just experienced that for the first time. I told you before I was on vacation in Cyprus, and and they like shut off the music at 2 a.m. Yeah, and then you see the same people that were dancing at top <laughs> yep. club just wearing headphones. No, they just like, keep going. It's just all on headphones. Yeah, never seen that before. But that, I'm sorry. To <laughs> no, no, that was, that was probably the weirdest <laughs> or coolest weird. set we've played that late. But I mean. You, you see so, so many different things. People were jamming things. out to you wearing headphones. Yeah. That's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, second year we had done that, That's and cool. it's kind of just, yeah, something, I don't know, no That's amps true. at all. It's just like, yeah, playing right into your headphones. Do you guys have video of that? Of people <laughs> just tripping out to you? on. <laughs> I wanted to live stream it from the stage where it was just like you couldn't hear it at all, but you see us like jamming out. <laughs> is that is that another Britside Live special, yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I want, I, want the, I want the live stream of the people freaking out in the crowd. I don't really want to watch this. I want to watch the tweakers just the crowd in the crowd. Crazy. You know, just. <laughs> so, so uh, Dan, do you <laughs> Dan, hit us again. Dan. All right. Um, we've got another one here from someone named Ashley. Someone named Ashley. Um, what is your guys' favorite band to go see live? You guys. And who would you say inspires your sound? Do you want to keep going around? Or yeah, like, do it. I mean, Charlie, go first. Well, yeah. I don't know, it's hard to say. I guess my biggest influence when I met these guys was the Disco Biscuits, but I don't know, I love to see so many bands. Umphreys, Cheese, Stole the Biscuits. <laughs> probably be the, that'd be the top three. I, didn't, I did more than one. Still Biscuits. <laughs> uh, my number one is Fish. Um, just got shut out of Curveball, so all the people out there that were uh, shut out, I feel your pain as well. So, so that's, that's my number one. Uh, 
I mean, I've also loved Fish since I was in high school, but uh, I've also always really liked harder rock music, so Umphreys has really appealed to me over the years. Uh, that being said, I really love, like, smaller acts. Not smaller, but, you know, lesser known acts to the mainstream jam population, like Jojo Meyer. Mm -hmm. He was uh, at Disc Jam this year. A lot of people were exposed to him for the first time. Major influence, a lot of drum and bass, and just super tight chops, and, uh, yeah, I love anything that's intricate and rhythmic and I can bob my head to violently. Like a true drum. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We all ha have a very similar taste in music, which what is what makes this all work, because we all love, like, dancey rock stuff. So, like, anytime I get a chance to see Lotus, that's one of my yeah. favorites. And, you know, yeah, yeah exactly. <sighs> you know, we do... Ashley from the control room, can you get me the shirt? I forgot <laughs> it. There. I got to put it on before this is over. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, Lotus, Disco Biscuits, Umphreys fish like we've been listening to all those for years and just kind of but then at the same time you try to make your own sound out of it and not just be like a copy of someone else right. so it you know take those influences and then like put yourself into it too do you ever find when you're like writing music and you're like wow this sounds really awesome i like i think this is a cool like like line or a cool just like a uh, segment of the song and then you realize wait that's definitely been done like many oh, yeah. times before. <laughs> like it's not original oh, but yeah. you got to put your own twist on it yeah. yeah yeah you can write a riff that you're like wait that's very similar and then you, you know sometimes you just need to tweak a couple notes and you're like they'll never know <laughs> <laughs> We've debated certain parts. It's like, is it too close? And then we're just like, eh, you know what? It's, you know. Wait for the lawsuit to come in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one of the bands, one of the bands we had on, they, they were called Asphalt uh, Green. And they're like, I guess it was another Asphalt Green. Um, and they're like, once we get big enough to change the name, then we'll worry about it. And then a year later, we had them back on. They were Asphalt Gray. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, got, I got the special shirt here I forgot to put on. I'll put it on right now. We said I was going to get it. Very nice. Game. Good man. They're super soft. <laughs> there you go. Live strip. Here we go. Yeah. It's coming. It's Live coming stream after, after dark. <laughs> Hotter than the set. Cloud, af <laughs> cloud after dark. Nice. nice. Looks Logo. good on you. Wow. Where can we pick these up? So we got them on our website online, www.themushroomcloudmusic.com, or better yet, come see us live. <laughs> we're going to be back down here, actually, uh, next week. Uh, we're doing a three-night run, the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Kind of down here. We're going to be in Stanhope, New Jersey. Say it to that nice camera right there. Hey. <laughs> we're going to be in Stanhope, Stanhope New, New Jersey, Jersey at the Stanhope House, opening for uh, Low End Freak, which is one of the members of Kung Fu. Chris DeAngelis, amazing. Then the night after that, we're going to be over at Sprout Music Collective with Squaring the Circle from Baltimore, I believe. And then the night after that, we're heading up to New Paltz to finish out that run at Snugs, which is one of our favorite bars to rage in. People are crazy up in New Paltz, so we're, look, we're looking forward <laughs> to that. Don't, they don't stop at Snugs. <laughs> I got one more question for you guys. I like asking this question because there's always so much different, interesting names. What was the origination of your name? The Mushroom Cloud. <laughs> always a good story behind these, this question. Yes. Well, we didn't have a name for a while. We also didn't have a bassist for a while. So it was just me, Russ, who's, who's my brother, drummer. So we grew up playing music together. His friend, who's on keyboards, and... Uh, we were jamming out in the basement, um, you know, doing some things, and <laughs> and s my friend came over and was like, "Oh, what's the name of your band?" And literally, it just like popped in my head, and I was like, "Oh, the Mushroom Cloud." Like, I don't know, I don't. Just it, <laughs> it really was. Well, like our yeah, we just loved to rock out. We had no direction other than just being loud and like <laughs> rocking out. So it kind of worked. Cool, I like it, guys. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks so much for having us. Have you on awesome. next season. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Pleasure. We'll come out, hang out with you in the Connecticut sometime. And well, please do. Once again, thank you for being on. I hope you enjoyed the show. We know we had a great show with the Mushroom Cloud. And stick around next week. We actually have an alumni coming back with some family. We love Spence, Spencer Bushy. He's coming out. Spence the Elders. Spence and the Elders. Ooh. Don't miss yeah. Spencer Bushy and the Elders. Spence and the Elders. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you next week. And as always, go Bridgeside, baby. Go bridge side. Thank you. Thank you.